couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? I hope you have your fingers ready for another full finger style arrangement lesson and this time it's Hurt by Johnny Cash. What a beautiful song. I transcribed this into finger style for you guys and girls and I'm gonna play it for you first so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen. It goes like this, enjoy. Okay, ready to start learning it? Put on A minor and play strings 5, 4, and then 1, 2, and 3. Then do the same thing with C. Then you put on a D sus2 chord. It's a D chord with the open E string, so take your second finger off and play strings 4, 3, and then 1 and 2 together. And then you do the same thing with A minor. Then C again. And then instead of a D sus2 chord, play a D chord. And then A minor. So that's it for the intro. A minor, C, D sus2, A minor again. C, D, A minor. Now for the verse. The verse uh, repeats itself twice with two different endings. The ending itself repeats itself twice with a different last note, last chord. So basically you're playing the verse twice with a different chord at the end. So it's the open E string to start with. And then it's C with three on the E string. Okay, now you can play the whole chord, you can play the E string and the fifth string, just the melody and the bass. Okay, both versions work. Um, and then you play the E string again. Then you play 3-1 on the second string with the D bass harmonizing the 3, the D note. Now, I like to bend it a bit, okay, or uh, vibrate it, okay, but you don't have to. And then uh, A minor, and the melody note is the E string, so you can play the E string with the A bass, okay, the first and fifth strings, or the full A minor chord, uh, or you can also do this, you can play the E string first, and then play the A minor chord the way you did the intro, okay, like this, so... Okay, and then you get kind of a finger style arrangement. Um, so then you play one on the second string and then C again uh, with your second string as your highest note. So if you want to harmonize with the chord, play strings two, three, four, and five. Okay, so it's then two on the third string, 
Then the three one on the second string with the D bass again. Okay, I like to separate them. I like to play it as a phlegm like this. Okay, first the bass, then the higher D note. Okay, but like this. Instead of uh, tum together, ta tum. Okay, as close together as possible and yet still separated. Okay, it's called a phlegm in musical technical uh, nomenclature. So then you play the A minor again. Okay, either like this or like this, like uh, it's written in the tab, or the full chord. Up to you, whichever you prefer. And then you repeat the first lick. Okay, so you have first lick, second lick, first lick. And then you have the ending. Don't worry, I'm gonna repeat everything. But let's learn the ending first because um, it's very similar to what we just played. Um, it's 1-1 one, one on the second string. Second time you play the C note, you play it with the C chord. Then 2 on the third string. Then, you guessed it, D. But this time you play 3 on the second string with the D bass. Okay? A D octave. Then it's the open third string. Then, for the first ending, you play A minor and your melody note is 2 on the third string. So it's either that with the bass note or add the fourth string for a harmony. Now, the second ending is the same. But the last note isn't 2 on the G string, it's the open G string again with the G chord. So either play 3 on the bass as your G octave harmony or play the open 3rd um, and 4th strings as your G chord with the G bass note. So it's pretty simple, um, it's pretty repetitive, so let's go over it once more. C with a high G note, 3 on the E string. D, phlegm if you want, 1, and then A minor with the E string as your melody. Then 1-1 one, one on the 2nd string into C, 2 on the 3rd, D, A minor again. Then the 1st lick again. And then the 1st ending is the 2nd lick with a slightly different ending note. And then A minor, the first time. Then you repeat everything. Okay, and then the second ending is the same as the first with G at the end instead of A minor. Now, if you want the feel of the original song, you start doing this. Continuous bass notes. This isn't a piano, so in my opinion it sounds a bit off just playing the bass notes. Um... Okay, it doesn't, doesn't feel right, right? You need a piano to get that dramatic feeling. So what I do is I play kind of a hinted harmonic rhythm and I keep the melody my emphasis like this. Um... Okay, kind of like this strumming pattern. Okay, the one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and one. I do it with my fingers. Bass, bass, chord, chord, bass, chord. But not all the time, only when I see fit. So this is, again, another spot for you to uh, to trust your musical instincts. Okay, I'm not gonna show you exactly what I do because I myself know, don't know exactly what I play because every time I feel the song differently. So let's go over the chorus. You start with an A minor seven and the melody is three, three, three on the E string. A minor seven is A minor with three on the E string or you can also play the open G string. So you get this. A deeper A minor seven chord or this. Both sound awesome. Uh, there's no preference to either one. So that's it. 3 3 3 on the E string. Then 1 1 on the second string into F. 
Now, I play F like this. One, two, three on strings, two, three, and four. And my thumb uh, covering the first fret of the sixth string for this. Okay, now I play strings two, three, four, and six. And this way I have the pinky open to play three on the second string. Instead of playing F like this and taking the pinky off of the chord itself, so if I want to play the D string, it turns into F7. And this is wrong for the harmony of this song. That's why I prefer this shape. So, and after the 1-1, one, one, you can play the chord in any way you see fit. Okay, you can also arpeggiate it. You can play bass and then a couple of notes of the chord. Everything works here as long as it's very delicate and just a hint at the, arm, uh, the harmony and not uh, an attacking harmony. So, okay, you can arpeggiate the chord. See, it sounds fine. And then uh, the bass again. Then one, three, one on the second string. I like to hammer on the three, you don't have to. Okay, and I always harmonize with the chord itself. Again, you don't have to. And without a hammer on. And then it's three again on the second string with G. Again, you can play the chord, you can play a thin harmony. Okay, also sounds fine. Uh, and then the first um, lick again, A minor seven into F. And then it's one on the second string, two on the third, one on the second. You have it in the chord, so you play strings two, three, two. Um, and you're still on F, so it's. And then three. And then on the third string, zero, zero into G. So you have. Okay? Now, again, I have no idea what I just played as a, uh, an accompaniment because I concentrated on the melody. Um, if you want to keep continuous bass notes, okay? Doesn't really matter as long as you're confident in your own style. The melody is, okay, the zero, zero at the end lead into G. And then you have a minor again with three, one on the second string. Okay, I play the whole chord with the first uh, note. My choice, you don't have to do it. And then uh, open E string, then one, one on the second string into F again. Then three, three, three on the second string. You're still on F. Then two on the third. You have it in the chord. And then three on the second string inside G. So, okay. Then it's the previous lick again. A minor into F with three, one on the second string on A minor. Then string then one one on the second string into F then one two on strings two and three it's inside F then three on the second string with G so you get this okay now you can play the note first and then the bass then zero two on the third string into a minor and you start the intro again. So, the chorus, let's go over it again. A minor seven. F, still F. G. Okay, you can always play the note first and then the chord. I should have mentioned it, I'm sorry. I was too concentrated on um, teaching the notes. So, um, that's the style that I'm using. I play the notes first and then change the chords. Um, it's easier and it also sounds better because it creates a syncopation. So, then A minor and F again. A minor 7. Uh, for those who corrected me, uh, you were right. And then, still F. Now G. And then A minor again. And then F. Still F. Now G, and 
then A minor F again, same line. Still F, G. The ending that leads you back into the intro. So 0, 2 on the third string. You can harmonize with 0, 2 on the fourth. Okay, for dramatic effect. And then the intro. Now, if you're wondering what was that insane uh, ending chord that I did, um, I ended with C. Then I slid the C two frets up to D at 9. And then I played this. This is A minor uh, 7 add 9, or A minor dominant 9, uh, but I like to call it A minor 7 add 9, because that's the sound of it, it doesn't sound like this. Okay, so, um, keen eared if you heard that that was a D dominant 9. So, pinky on 5 on the 4th string. Third finger on four on the third string, and the first finger on one on the second string. Open fifth, open first. Okay, takes a bit of practice, but it's impressive as heck, so why not just do it? It's not that difficult once you get the stretch part down. You might have to take your elbow in to make it easier to stretch, but you can do it, I'm pretty sure you can. So, before you go practice this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons here for free, so what are you waiting for? Join the Lick and Riff community. <sighs> go download the tab from the website. The link is in the description. The tab is for free. Everything is for free right here on Lick and Riff, but if you want to give something back and help out with making the lessons, you have a donation button right above the tabs. You can't miss it. It's large, it's blue. It says donate, and everything goes right back into making these lessons, so why not uh, give something back and help your own guitar education you don't have to of course uh, but if you do I'd be more than grateful for any donation you choose to make and um, everything will go right back into the lessons I promise so you enjoy this make your own variation of this uh, experiment with it experiment with different styles just like I showed you you have enough options uh, of how to play this have fun and I'll see you the next lesson thank you very very much for watching bye for now